for you. For you. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. That being said, video game movies. We Just watch a dog in. fight a robot. It's fine. Oh. You're way too worked up about this kind of stuff. Well, I just, I just, this is what I do. I'm good at one thing, and it's talking a lot about food. It's also not okay. endearing I mean... or cute, anyway. Oh shit! I can't say that. Right, I right, have being, Lucario. I'm being patronized. I continue to be patronized. Oh, we're not patronizing you. This is like, it's actually really bad uh, to be that empirical about stuff like that. That being uh, said, game one of Josh F G and BB in Music Semis. Um, I am so happy to see Vivi play, because it's definitely been like a fat man of two um, since I've seen him play. Yeah, he was on stream earlier. He almost got timed out by, uh, by Zach. I'm sure he's happy now that, uh, that Josh is going to Apparently, Josh is up 3-0 uh, on Zach now? Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I love that movement. It's so ridiculous. I hate, it. I hate fighting it, but I love watching it. Wait, what happened? The stream froze. Wait, oh, wait. there it goes. Discord, you, s you nice up oh, smash. Nice up smash. I know, Vivi. Pretty good lead for himself. Um, and, and you know, Lucario is like a character that's wine. You know, he's he's like wine. He he gets better as time goes on. You know, gets a little bit more funky. Those those lactic acids really concentrate in the. I'm not even sure if wine has lactic acid. Does <laughs> something? Oh uh, God. Yeah, no, that's so unfortunate. The way that uh. Well, then he got like uh, he wall clang, so he had to get off the thing. He either had to drop or he had to jump. And he chose jump, and he got up smashed for it. Good awareness from Josh with the nose, taking advantage of it. Oh my God! All of those down tilts and pinkies are already at 58 percent. How is he going to get off of the corner? Wow, Josh and G did not cover the jump at all. He just fully committed to BB, like sort of standing there. And honestly, like trapping on a reaction like that is pretty difficult on Wi-Fi. But, I don't know, it kind of felt like he was, like, trapping in his own head there a little bit. Alright, Josh Lynn wants something big, and that's not going to be it. That side he's going to kill. Yeah, just catches him shielding. Such a good use of it, too. Uh, VV definitely didn't have enough time to throw out a smash attack. That was the next best thing. And boy, oh boy, oh. did it do the job. Speaking of doing the job, Jago at ledge, confirming it to F smash. Very clean stuff from Josh and G. But, uh, I think maybe he wanted the get up attack off the ledge. Mm. And like, he just didn't have the uh, the frames, like, Jago just immediately stuffed it out. Joey's like, haha, funny active hitbox, go. The funny always active hitbox. I don't know how many frames is actually inactive, if any. Oh, it's just a lot. It's out there for several seconds. Ugh. Uh. That being said, wow, getting sandwiched between the oh, almost no. getting up smash, but mashed out the gong option, almost dying to up though not quite. This is still very doable for the He always plays with you know, He had that read! He had that read! What? He knew that he was gonna go in! BV deserved that game! Robbery! Haha, <laughs> get it because Rob, but still, how did VV not get that F smash? What happened? Look at this, look at this, look at this dashback. He just, he just let it rip too early. I think I, I think he didn't actually read the uh, the roll. I think he read the dash in. Uh, it's okay. It happens to the best of us. It's okay. BB. <laughs> Does it? Does happen to the best? Jeez, dude, this is such an... So many unfortunate kills from BB. Mm-hmm. That being said, game two gonna be going to get back to PS2. I think the stage was fine, just a couple of unfortunate ways that he got off the ledge there. Um, definitely bit him in the butt a little bit. Gonna be feeling the jungle, trying to get some confirms off of it, but right now, I like the way that Josh Fungi is holding the corner a little bit for himself. He's just making it impossible for Vivi to get in at all. Just forcing him, just forcing Vivi to wait and burn out all of his options. Wow, what a jab lock. Not going to kill quite yet, despite the fact that he slowly moved forward. He had the good idea with that dash grab, uh, but was just a little bit too far back to connect it. Right, nice. Oh, oh no. His death smash was too slow to actually get the other uh, hit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Lucario might be a little bit too floaty to hit like up tilt up like that. 
Um, maybe just Josh if he just dropped the execution on it ever so slightly. Ah, oh, doesn't get the charge hit of all these failures to the back. It's a nice idea though. I don't know what he was trying to do there. Wait, what? What was that? He loaded into him. He followed him. Like, I'm not sure what he's trying to do there. What, what was that? You and me both, honestly. I, I okay. Oh. I love that. It is the cutest thing ever. When a god just flails his pathetic robotic arms, like blah, 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 blah. it's so funny to me. His pathetic robotic arms. Look at them. They're just they're like meat mallets. Arms, yeah, but they look pathetic when he's up here. Okay. He's just looking at his arms. Uh, he tries to pressure the shield a little bit, but they all this feel. Uh, not able to get it though. Again, Vivi's going through like a lot of like these beautiful um all this field charges into something, but just never finds them. Gonna let it rip um all the way across stage and Jonathan just had more than enough time to react and jump out of it. Yeah, Jonathan is really playing the way that Jonathan is playing is making it really hard for Vivi to get any kind of significant hit. But he keeps side being in like these weird situations. And it gives Vivi like a very easy opportunity to just get the kill. He's it's a like, yeah, but... he can get away with it. Yeah, but it's like, even then, if he had gotten it... Uh, yeah. yeah, the Rob-Up Smash is very hard to punish. It has very low end life. Not even that. Lucario's that smash just isn't all that fast, you know. That's quite a yeah. bit of to it. Uh, really unfortunate for Vivian. Now this deficit is looking pretty tough for them. And it's already starting to climb. Already taking 11% from that Inchilo. Struggling yeah. to get in. Like, Joshathan is playing a really good keep-away game by playing Luan and Shiloh. It's like every time that Josh Stinson's advantage just goes off the stage, you know that for the most part, Vivi's not going to challenge him in any kind of meaningful way. It's like That's the, the fourth other. counter that Vivi's done in that situation that has like completely like not gotten hit by something. There we go. That's what Vivi's been looking for. Still not going to kill Bob off the top. Chunky fella. You know, yeah. Gonna... Wow. If you'd yeah, done it the other way, it definitely, the, the counter definitely would have killed because it's strongest when you require it first appears. Really? Huh. Yeah. At least that's how it was in Smash 4. Maybe that would be correct. Oh, he went for some kind of... Ooh, maybe. Okay, good. Good good air dodge. You know, I haven't seen Josh just mix it up at all. He immediately goes for the up after the up tilt. Um, he doesn't try to wait out any jumps or air dodges or anything. And that might just come back to bite him um, in the butt a little bit. Vivi gonna be sent the other way from the down smash. Good high recovery just to completely circumvent the side B, making sure he's not gonna get hit by it at all. Oh my goodness. The way Josh has been is playing this is so weird. Oh no, he might be. Oh, he's fine. Yeah, he jumped up a little bit too high and thus was unable to fully cover the platform. He has to have at least like short hop through, delayed his up there a little bit in order to cover the whole thing. Uh, but that being said, when Vivi starts dashing at you like that, you better be praying to God because you know he's looking for that side B. He's looking for that F smash. He wants it, and he's going to get it because Vivi is so good at connecting those. Yeah. You know what? It's a, it's a really a two-way street because if Vivi gets grabbed at all, he's done. And if he gets hit by any kind of significant kill move, it's, he's also it's over. But this is a good situation for Vivi. He's got stage advantage, and his shield is mostly withered. And he has Gyro. So scared. Oh, wow. Got deleted. It's up in. That's the VB. That's the comeback VB. You know him. I haven't seen him in so long. So happy to see him. I don't know what he could have done there, honestly. Like, what could he have done? You're a nice cat, Devin. Ready? Yeah, so like that's the that's the big thing about Aura in this uh in any in any Smash game where Lucario is present. It's like you can just suddenly just kinda of turn things around on you and really murder you for making any kind of mistake. All right, so playing on FD, we got some good jams. Oh, 
you assume like Rob is a character that actually has confirms. You assume that uh that it wouldn't be the hardest thing in the world to kill with to kill Lucario, but if you make a mistake and then you let him live for an extended period of time, uh, you can make your life kind of really difficult. I mean, I'd also argue that like Vivi is extremely experienced in a matchup, you know, having fought Dill, you know, so often while Josh has been I don't know how many Lucarios he's fought, you know, a lot. Uh, still was able to do to death Vivi in the very beginning. Uh, I respect, you say I respect that, but the FB like... choice. You mean, like, like the fact that they went to the police on the stage? I mean, you say that, like, about uh, how he's, how Vivi has fought uh, Dill a lot of times, but it's like, it doesn't change the fact that Rob's advantage in this matchup is so much better. Yeah, for um, sure. Than Lucario's is overall. So it's like, Vivi still has to win more interactions. Uh, mm -hmm. Overall, unless he gets some really until good he gets to that reads. late game, until he gets to that late game, absolutely, he's gonna have to be the one that's constantly outplaying a neutral. Definitely not yeah. the easiest matchup for Lucario in the book. Good stall with that double jump, just waited out that option from Jonathan, um, and thus was able to get back onto the stage. Now it'll be up to him to get out of the corner. That all oh, this failed did so much damage, gave him stage control, and 53%. He had the lead, not enough for him to seal out the stock though. Uh, yeah. Just amazing momentum for Vivi. He's at that true aura percent right now, Ooh. where the aura isn't quite strong enough to cheat for him, but it is going to do like a significant amount of damage. Mm -hmm. um, and it's also going to potentially kill on the right hits. Nice. Wow. So close. Just like that, Vivi has brought it all the way back, and the pressure from Vivi is terrifying because one nail is not going to kill from Rob, but anything Vivi does now will kill. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. One of the what? biggest changes in this game from Smash 4 for Lucario is the fact that they made his up so much more up difficult throw to punish. Up throw up there, he did 36%. He's 36. a big boy. It yeah. hurts. Why did he go from down throw? I would have thought up throw would kill at that point. Mm. But, I mean, he still got the kill. Regardless. I just feel like that was an unnecessary mix-up that could have been avoided. Landing on the shield very safely with the new shield, catching the dash in from BB. The back hit, oh, back hit, still able to connect. And Josh is then, you know, starting to reclaim the stock a little bit. He is going at it. So scary. He immediately air dodging to the ledge. Really, really, I, I, I want to say an aggressive way of getting back onto the stage. Could have definitely ended a little bit more poorly if Josh is then caught onto that aggression. Gonna be completely ignoring that gyro. Doesn't get any of the charge hits of the oil sphere. Yeah, Vivi's movement has gotten like so much better in between like the last oh. game or so. I don't know how to feel about the fact that short help up air is actually a thing out of Aura Sphere. Vivi. I'm so good at this game, Vivi. Imagine if you played a good character. Yeah. Oh, it is? I didn't know that. I thought it was best of three. No, this is best of five. This is Lucia Semis. Thank you, 3.1 buffs. Did Lucario get buffed in the last patch? This is something I actually don't, I'm not sure about. Oh, huh. I guess he's just running it back to Three, FD. Two, one, yeah, they didn't do like their, they didn't do their bands or their, uh, or anything. I just, I guess they just agreed to go to FD. That's said, kind fuck of it. funny. FD. FD don't all matter. day, every day. Um, but I'd like to say that, like, Vivi has made a lot of adjust adjustments in his play. He's definitely caught on to a lot of Jonathan's habit, especially, um, I want to say with his down throw. He just, like, tapped into his rhythm so brilliantly, and is always able to stay, like, one step above him. I feel like Jonathan has only gone, like, one or two kills out of down throw of all the times that he's done it. Which yeah, is no, a lot. Vivi's, uh, Vivian's match has been wonderful, and he's been very unpredictable with how, he's, how he reacts out of it. Which is something a lot of players aren't great at. It's really hard. Mm -hmm. Oh, that should uh, be the it's missing no attack. Twice. Josh is not even going for any of the jab blocks. He had so many opportunities to do it. Granted, he still got the kill. That's all that matters. But can't help but imagine those missed opportunities. You know. Yeah. 
And then Vivi actually is on the back foot again, unlike the last game, he wasn't able to get an early lead. That is oh. hilarious. Did he feel it on how they counted? Yeah, that was weird. The counter is, uh... Lucario's counter is one of the only counters in the game that isn't based... that the effect isn't based on your opponent's attack, it's based on another parameter, which is Aura. Mm -hmm. Also, so it once again, dealing so much damage and doing so much for the Vivi. Able to bring it back, but it's going to be up to him to fight his way out of the corner. Can't keep missing those attacks. But Joshathan, please, for the love of God, set up a jab block. Please, I'm begging you. <laughs> you just really want to see it. Like, jab blocks on Wi-Fi are so, like, potent. Because it's so difficult to actually land you text consist as consistently as you would offline. That, like, you ha the meta demands you going through them. You have to be going through those. Otherwise, you're just missing on so many opportunities to get kills. Jonathan! Stop! Oh my god. That was a good tech read, but he's still alive because Down Smash is just not that strong of a move. Mm -hmm. And a what good... A still able to get up attack because Rob kept his big old arm sticking on to the stage. Uh, yeah. He fell off it. Oh my god, dude. That is so ridiculous! Those Fuga Boosts are actually no joke at all. Vivi's movement is so clean. He's getting so much better just being able to convert those kills. All right, that was Josh a great bait from, uh, from Josh. That was such a good bait. I love it. And we have a completely even game here. Vivi actually taking the lead. He just keeps on piling the damage like chip by chip, getting a couple of forward links able to convert off of his nail really well. And right now he's keeping Joshathan in the corner. I love the way that Phoebe treats the corner as opposed to some other players, where he just gently gives the other player a little bit more. He, wow, he died from that? First of all, he could have lived. I don't I don't believe for the second. I think he did it wrong. I don't think he did it perfectly. Yeah. What I did want to say was though. I really respect how Vivi just keeps inching back at least so slightly and is so attentive to his spacing when he keeps an opponent in the corner because he is always looking to hit you with an F smash, especially when he has Aura like that. So he's just waiting for you to push him too far just once. He doesn't need to keep you in the corner for a long time. He just needs you to push him too far just once. He hits you with the F smash and then you die, you know? Yeah. Just so well. Also, yeah, looking at that, uh, that DI, you're 100% right. That was just... That was not even bad, DI. That was, oh, I got surprised and I let go of my controller for half of a second, DI. Mm -hmm. Where he definitely could have done something, but he didn't. And that ended up getting him killed. Yeah, for sure. Oh, uh, I don't think. Okay, let me go through the rest of this. I need to get this.